Yeah, one of the things that you just hit on was this idea, this the landmine of like going from sector to sector or stock to stock and constantly moving around. Is it the selling fees? Is it commissions? Sure. Is it everybody like constantly trying to time the market? Or what's your take on that? There's there's two there's two things going on at the same time. Number one is that yes, the fees, the commissions, the taxes that you pay on gains, the way that the, the tax law works, it's 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 so difficult that in fact when you go into a managed fund, a hedge fund, a mutual fund, by the time they're done deducting their fees and commissions and all the trading charges, you can't even beat the S and P five hundred. They don't beat the S and P five hundred. This is wow. a fact. This is a, a known fact. Every academic study going back one hundred years says this. That's number one. Number two, and I hate to say this because I'm part. You and I are all both part of human beings. By our very natures, are shitty stock pickers. <laughs> We're really not good stock pickers. And and like there, and no doubt there are some people, there's a very few that are really good stock pickers, but they're few and far between. In fact, like, you know, the academics say, you know, there must be some people that are really good at picking stocks. We haven't found them yet, but they're out there. Now, granted, there are a couple of hedge funds out there that do beat the S&P. But guess what, Kevin? They're not taking your money. They're not taking my money. And they're not taking the average American's money. They're trading for their own cash and a couple of ultra wealthy billionaires. So that's a closed club. Everybody else collapses under that. They are so bathing in the light of those extraordinary returns. And they are getting subpar returns. So they get they charge you a 20% success fee on, on, on winning years, 2% manager fee. But by the time they're done, they're dismally underperforming the S&P 500.